Pardon me, boy. Is that the Earth Affairs Station? Yes, yes. Track 4.1. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another very special episode of Alton Plays Earth Events Wars 4.1 for the PC. I have another interesting guide for you. This time, we're mixing things up a little bit because we're not going after weapons. Oh, no. We're going after armor. Uh, before we get started, you're going to need to have a couple of things. Number one, you're going to need a controller. Number two, you're going to need a band-aid. And number three, a fifth of vodka. Okay, probably not the last one, but uh, it helps. So as you can probably tell, right now I'm actually playing in single player, but I have it set up as a split screen local co-op. The major reason for that is the time aspect. Farming for two classes, you kind of kill two birds with one stone. The main actual utility here is going to be the wing diver and the rapier thrust. So to get started, you're going to want to have a uh, rapier thrust or just a rapier with a load time of half a second or a second, half a second, just as low as possible. I think the M3 rapier thrust is probably a good starting point. Um, the M2 will work in a pinch. Uh, we're going to be playing this on easy because we just want armor. We don't really care about what weapons we get. And without any further ado, let's just get started. Alright, you're going to go to level 15, land collapse. Select normal or easy and start. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do after I destroy this... Oh, oh no. <laughs> you can hear my fucking... <laughs> controller vibrate on the table. That's not ideal. Alright, so we're killing these guys. And I realize that seems like a dick move. But unfortunately, we kind of have to, and since we don't want them to interfere with our farming at all. Alright, excellent. Now, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and control her. So this one we're actually not gonna keep. A lot of people say to just leave that and farm from that. But there's actually a better way of doing it, and I've picked it up from watching multiple videos, but none of them seem to specifically cover this method of doing it. Now you can see I've kind of abandoned the ranger because I don't have four fucking arms. I can't just control them all. Oh, I wish I had a second weapon that was useful. I meant to get the sniper rifle for her, but uh, I'm dumb. And we're not doing very much farming so far, huh? We'll get We'll get to it eventually. We're under virtually no threat of actually dying here because, well, <laughs> easy mode. I have like 700 health. And they shoot like, look at that. They shoot like two little orange globules at you. Oh my god, I almost want to see them shoot at me again just to see what it looks like. It's like an inferno, it's like a fucking tidal wave, but here it's just like, eh <laughs> That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and move on. Alright, now here's the point where we're actually going to be uh, farming. So, big reason for this is that if you actually stand in the middle of one of those nests uh, with the ants in them, you'll get displaced. But with the spiders, it's a slightly different story. <laughs> they can at least hit me, I guess. <laughs> I can't see what's going on. Can you? <laughs> Alright. So we want to just try and kill all the ones that get out of the nest, because they'll be bouncing around, like, annoying us and harassing us while we're trying to farm. And that's really not what we want. Alright. Oh, God, I love this game. First of all, we want to get rid of this fucking tree. Then we want to look straight up. And this is why we needed a controller and a rubber band. As soon as we get done with this, we're actually going to change position a little bit, because I think we need to course correct. We need to be directly in the center so we can pick everything up. We need to get right in the middle of it. That's about in the middle of it. Alright, so now that we're looking straight up, we are going to use the rubber band that we've placed on our controller to hold down the trigger. Now that we no longer have to worry about this controller, we can go back to the ranger. And we can fucking see... <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. Oh, jeez, Louise. Brain and bugs. 
We're just gonna go ahead and use the ranger to pick up anything stray. <laughs> I had no idea that this would be this funny when I started this video. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. Well, I'm gonna speed things up for you guys so you don't have to watch me try and roll my way all the way across town. Alright, so we finally made it. So what we're gonna do is basically just gather up all the armor that's scattered around the nest and try to make sure that we're actually centered with our uh, wing diver. So now that we have the area around us cleared out, we're just gonna leave this controller on some soft surface like your chair or something that's not gonna make a lot of noise because of the rumbling and just leave it to sit for like 15, 30 minutes until we've got a decent amount of armor. So we'll just jump cut to that now. Alright guys, so it's been about 10 minutes and I think we can probably start wrapping up. Uh, but I have a couple of important points that I want to make before we go. First of all is that don't leave this just running all day. Only leave it for about an hour because there is a about a thousand item drop pickup limit. I accidentally shifted it. Let's try and see if we can move. <laughs> yeah, so try and make sure it's as centered as possible and try not to move it or else something like that will happen. Anyway, like I was saying, yeah, there's a thousand item pickup limit. Once you hit that, it really does you no benefit to continue running this. So only leave it running for about an hour or so to pick up armor. Another important note, I think, about this video is that like literally all you need is a rubber band and a controller and virtually any spider spawner can be used so it doesn't need to be in special DLC mission 15 is basically just the first one that popped up in my mind and there's no other any there's no other any <laughs> like I was saying this mission is a good one just because there's nothing after this, so as soon as you're done farming weapons, you can just destroy the nest and be done. And it's very, very early on, so even people just starting the game, if they want to, can farm for armor. Oh, and another note, like those videos that say you need like a vehicle, you really, really don't. Like, the spider spawners don't move you, like the ant spawners sometimes do. You can just stay right underneath them and you won't move at all. So this will work with any extra class. It can be a Lancer, it can be a Ranger, it can be an Air Raider. It doesn't matter because all the work is being done by the Wing Diver, the Rapier, and the Rubber Band. Now, without further ado, let's fucking end this already. Woo! Mission cleared. Let's see how much armor we got for like that um, 15 minutes or so. Of farming. Alright, 137. Not great, but just bear in mind that you can just leave this for as long as you want. I did it for only about like 10 to 15 minutes, and I still got 137 armor. You can do this for one to two hours and get a lot more than that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and comment. Uh, if you didn't like it, leave a dislike and let me know why, because I can't think of any reason other than just like, Oh, fuck the salt guy who's always drunk. I hate him. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Two to the one, to the one, to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed, you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three to the one, to the one, to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the D. Let me tell you how I made a leave. Conversation and Hennessy I've been to the motherfucking mountain top Heard motherfuckers talk, seen them drop 